Hi everyone. So I am back with my new tutorial again. In this I am going to model a product and also texture and render it. So watch this video till end and thanks. Now let's start with our modeling part. So for that go to add then mesh then take a cylinder. Now click here then keep its vertices on 2L. So you can see now go to front view then as for scaling it and move it upwards. Now extend extend its height like this. Now let's start modeling it. So go to edit mode then select these edges. Now first of all we have to bring our reference image for making it more uh, easier to model. So I have made one reference image previously before ma making this video. So I am taking that. Here it is. Now I will scale it up for matching to our model's size. Like this bring it here. And as per your convenience you can keep that. Now let's start modeling. So select these edges then press ctrl B for bevel and scroll your mouse for adding the lines, segments or edges like this now adjust it like this take its vertex and keep it here just adjust this, uh, adjust this as per your choice. it little down here and here keep this here as you can see now move up move it little up like this now again control B and drag your mouse like this you can see now adjust its shape Like this, keep it over here. Now select this and keep it here and move it little here, like this. Uh, scale it down a little and just adjust as per your choice. And press E for extruding it like this and then extrude it upwards for the top part then select this edge and again control B for beveling it and you can see now keep our reference image little backwards now you can clearly clearly see your model which we have done till now now Select this, select this face and delete this, this, like this. Go to our front view. Now press 3 for face mode, then select this, then shift D for duplicating it. We are, that's our, will be our cap. So we will work on it later. First we will finish this body part. Add some edges here here now again uh, three for face selection select these parts these faces and alt e for extruding it then like this extrude it little outwards like this you can see now from bottom part also select this face and extrude it inside then add some edges for um, 
making it a sharp look bringing some sharpness to our this model one here and one here then shade it smooth then press control 2 for smoothing it again now you can see our this part is done let's move on to our cap part then set now uh, set its original like this I have done now go to edit view mode now select this then press F for filling that then press I for inserting it then take um, edge tool and bring one edge here then select it all again alt E then extrude face normals and extrude its uh, uh, it outside like this I am doing now add one a edge here and hide that add one here one here and one from inside like this so our cap part is also done you can see now again smooth shade it and control 2 for smoothing it so you can see then adjust it as at its place like this so our modeling part uh, part is all done now let's move on to our texturing part now, first of all select this and hide that our reference image now let's move on to our texturing part so for that go to shading mode here then press over here then take a new and go to our base color then image texture then open your image texture level like this so you can see it is not at its proper place so for making that uh, open its UV editing and go to our shading view mode sorry like this now select this press L for selecting this hole now adjust it as per your choice keep it little here and scale it like this scale it from here then you can see by rotating it how it is uh, wrapped like this now little much you can scale it like this uh, bring it towards left side as you can see and by rotating you can see we have done now you can see these uh, are extra so select this uh, and press L and select this and press S for scaling it little so you can see that all disappeared and keep this here where it is not showing itself and keep this here and you can check whether it is there or not so it is not there now go to our layout so you can see our texturing part it's, uh, it's uh, is also done now let's move on to our rendering part so for that select these go to our render view it is all dark so color it i will like to take gray color shade as per my choice you can choose yours now go to uh, shift a then select your camera then one light i would like to take area light for this like this now go to our light settings now increase its size and what's on 1000 1000 uh, you can um, also take 2000 watts as per your choice like this now keep this here and 
can see just adjust the lights as per your choice add one more by pressing shift d for duplicating our lights now from back also so it will look uh, brighter So once we have finished with our lighting, add a plane at its bottom part, down part, like this. Now keep this down over here. Now color. Uh, now color this plane. Go here, then take a new. material and then color this as gray i am making it in gray color you can choose your own color then background color also like this you can also uh, increase its strength from here now let's render it first let's add some glossiness to our this uh, supplement or tablet whatever it is like this uh, metallic increase its metallic and decrease its roughness like this as per your choice adjust it from here so you can see the glossy effect on it like this this is simple effect which i have made you can also try your own ideas like this now press 0 for moving to our camera view then go to our view then lock the camera view uh like this now adjust your camera view as per your choice now go to our render engine and convert it into cycles so you can see how it is looking all done like this now f12 for getting the rendering final image so i hope you like my tutorial and thanks a lot again for watching this and thank you i will be in my next tutorial soon